As Moscow has been trying to chip away at its international isolation, this is yet another attempt by President Vladimir Putin to reach out to Asian nations in Kazakhstan's capital Astana as Russia has been slapped with sweeping sanctions for invading Ukraine. Putin says Russia remains a dependable ally to those who want to revive global economic growth. Russia is doing its utmost to provide critical production to the countries that need them. We call for the elimination of all artificial, illegitimate barriers that prevent the restoration of the normal functioning of global supply chains in order to resolve urgent tasks in food security. Like many of our partners in Asia, we believe we need to change how the global financial system works. The Russian leader says Asian countries have a prominent role to play in shaping the global affairs. Today's meeting takes place against a backdrop of major changes in global politics and economics. The world is becoming truly multipolar with Asia playing a prominent, if not key, role as new centers of power emerge. Asian countries are the driving force behind global economic growth. And it was time to get down to business, with Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan on the sidelines of Asian Leaders Summit. Topping the agenda between Erdogan and Putin have been several issues, including energy security and grain exports. The Turkish leader sought to mediate between Moscow and Kyiv since Russia invaded Ukraine. We are determined to strengthen and continue the grain export under the Istanbul Agreement and the transfer of Russian grain and fertilizer to less developed countries via Turkey. We may work on determining the names of countries as well as conducting exports via our country. It is important that we focus on the poor countries rather than developed ones during this period. Meanwhile, Putin says Turkey is the most reliable route to deliver gas to the European Union and proposed to build what he called a supply hub there. This comes as Russia wants to maintain its energy leverage over Europe while redirecting supplies away from the Nord Stream Baltic gas pipelines damaged in explosions last month. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.